imagine a self-sustaining home for the future that exists today. That's the challenge for 19 college teams from around the globe vying to win the Solar Decathlon, a competition sponsored by the U.S. Department of Energy I don't know how far that is. to encourage design and technologies for homes that are energy efficient, economical, appealing, and powered entirely by the sun. Most homes generate power through fossil fuels, which impacts the environment. But solar houses use clean, renewable energy that save residents money. For two years, students from the Missouri University of Science and Technology have been designing a solar home called the Chameleon House. It features a web-based automation system that updates the home's heating and cooling systems with changing weather. 60 architectural and engineering students are designing the home from the ground up. It's a hands-on process. I'm an architectural engineer, which means that I have learned a lot about the design process of a building, but now we're actually constructing a building. I knew almost nothing about solar homes before joining the team. This is amazing. I'm 21 years old and I'm building a house that I helped design. The Chameleon House is being built almost entirely by students, guided by a few professionals. And adding to that challenge is a time factor. I learned a lot myself today. We have four months left to build this home, and it's something that is definitely really exciting and really scary. Each solar decathlon team is restricted to a floor plan of just 1,000 square feet. The challenge is to pack energy savings into every square foot. So now we are just looking to wood chips go where on the house. So the Missouri team is using custom prefabricated walls called SIPs, structurally insulated panels. Here we have a structurally insulated panel. Um, it's two pieces of plywood filled in with styrofoam in the middle. But the reason why these are so good at thermally insulating the house is because there's no wooden beams that go from this piece of plywood to the other. These kind of panels are um, designed to be uh, sturdy in earthquake kind of areas as well. Okay. The SIP walls replace standard wood studded walls padded with fiberglass insulation. In just three days, the Chameleon House walls and roof are nailed into place with a modular construction design to ship the house cross country for the solar decathlon. Today, the Chameleon House is becoming energy independent. We're putting up the actual panels and the inverters and get all of that set up so we can be able to wire it up and have it generate electricity for us. There we go. That consists of 21 410 watt panels and then on the front of the house we'll have an overhang with what's called a bifacial panel and it'll generate 1.9 kilowatts so we'll have a total of 10.5 kilowatts on the house. Basically, the house will be net zero, and that means it'll produce as much electricity as it uses over a year's period of time. The Missouri team has competed in four of the five previous solar decathlons. And the homes they built are now joined side by side in a model solar village. The homes are off the public power grid, self-powered by solar energy they generate and share through a connected microgrid. Several of the homes are occupied by Chameleon House team members. I've lived in this house for about a year now. It does have the elongation east to west as all of the solar houses do, and that's to um, get the most out of the south-facing sun, and so you get the most sunlight in the front windows, and you can get the best cross breeze with that as well. It does have uh, an induction cooktop, and so that uses magnets with the pot, and so it actually heats the pot itself instead of the whole space of the cooktop, and that's a little more efficient than a traditional cooktop. I don't think that there's a lot of difference in your lifestyle. Maybe I won't turn on the air conditioning, maybe I'll just open the windows. If it doesn't impede on your lifestyle at all. Missouri's decathlon team gathers data based on Caitlin's home, and the other solar village homes. We can actually track their energy usage. We are also able to use, use their knowledge of the homes in building our new home. The heart of the Chameleon House is a home automation system. 
In traditional home, you may have a smart thermostat that helps with mitigate some of the power consumption of a heating and cooling system. In the Chameleon House, what our goal is to do is take that to the next level. The Chameleon Home Automation System is designed to take real live feeds from a web-based interface that will then read what your current temperature is within your house, but also the temperature and settings outside of your house. It can then make changes to the heating system and the cooling system within the house, which are smaller than a normal heating or cooling system would do in the house, which reduces the power consumption of the system by a, a significant amount. So not only can it control the actual heating and cooling system itself, such as your AC unit, it can also control opening the shades um, to gain heat from light or opening clear story windows to let out extra heat instead of using the actual typical AC unit within the house. Another energy saving factor is radiant heating built into the home's flooring. Instead of heating a house traditionally with the air vents, it actually has tubes that run through the floor. And so that's where the hot water runs through and it heats the house from the ground up. Just as the chameleon house has taken final shape, a day of reckoning has arrived. Finally, after two years of design and five months of construction, we're actually gonna take apart our house uh, to ship it off to California. We just split our house apart by three feet. I can't watch this. It will take five days for the chameleon house to be trucked to Irvine, California. A solar village of 19 homes is forming at the Solar Decathlon competition grounds. Each team has just nine days to get their house in working order for the competition. As the competition opens, each house is evaluated on 10 factors to determine the home's energy efficiency, affordability, and design. But the big draw is educating the public about the efficiency of solar energy. There's a real desire amongst people to understand the technology and learn about it. I think most uh, homeowners will agree that energy efficiency, which saves them money, is always, uh, you know, the bottom line is what they're interested in. And these solar decathlon houses are some of the most efficient houses around today. Win or lose, the decathlon prepares students to be future energy leaders and their innovations to become essential designs for home builders around the world.